Hey everybody, I'm excited to share with you the most amazing promise that God gave us, the promise of a Savior. At Christmas, we celebrate how God kept his promise when he sent his son Jesus. One of the most famous decorations we see at Christmas is a Christmas tree, like this one over here. Well, maybe exact, not exactly like this one because it's a little dark and empty. So let's fix that. a little better. You know, through history, things didn't always go well for God's people. There was a lot of darkness, but God always provided some light in the darkness, some hope that he would help. The Bible is full of famous stories about God and his people throughout history. God was there with his people at the very, very beginning of their story. We call that creation. God was there with, with Moses and his people and as he parted the Red Sea and he helped the Israelites escape from the Egyptians. He was also there with Joshua and the Israelites when they won the Battle of Jericho. He was there when David won against Goliath. We can find amazing words of hope when we read Psalms. And God gave Esther the courage to stand up to her people. But things didn't always go that way for God's people. They followed false gods. Like nations around them did. They tried to do their things their own way instead of what God wanted them to do. They were attacked and bullied by other groups of people. Things were looking pretty dark. But even when God's people didn't always follow him, God would show his people that he was with them, no matter what. God sent leaders like judges to rescue his people when they got themselves into trouble and cried out to him for help. He sent kings to rule over his people who, and the kings who loved him, like King David and King Josiah. He sent leaders, he sent prophets like Elijah and Isaiah to speak his truth and to hope, to speak his truth and hope to the people. Elijah. Still, God's people kept trying to go their own way. So God allowed them to be captured by other nations. Even when things got really dark and it was hard to see how it would all turn out, God showed his people that they could trust him. God had made an important promise to his people. He would one day send someone who would rescue them forever. In fact, there are hundreds of prophecies in the Old Testament that talk about God's promise to send a Savior. Check out one of these promises God had written down by the prophet Isaiah. A child will be born to us. A son will be given to us. He will rule over all of us. And he will be called Wonderful Advisor and Mighty God. He will also be called Father who lives forever and the Prince who brings peace. So a child will be born to us. A son will be given to us, and he will rule over us. He will be wonderful and mighty.
He, he will rule over us and he will call wonderful advisor and mighty God. He will also be the father who lives forever and the prince that brings peace. The Israelites had to wait, wait a long time, but God's promises about a savior came true when he sent Jesus to live on earth. Jesus was sent as a child, as the son of God. He is our wonderful advisor, our mighty God, and our prince who brings peace. That's what Christmas is all about. That's why we celebrate. We celebrate because of the hope that Jesus brings, and that hope will light up our lives forever. God always kept his promises, and throughout his big story, we know that when he says he will do something, he will do it. And one of God's most important promises of all was his promise to send Jesus. He kept that promise to send Jesus, our Savior. Did you know that there are lots of promises about our lives that God has made? He promises to be with us all the time. He's always working for our good, no matter what. We can know that God will keep these promises because he always keeps his promises. We can have hope and when we put our trust in him. That's what Christmas is all about. It's remembering that God keeps his promises. It's all about celebrating the greatest gift, his son. So we can have hope before because God keeps his promises. That's our bottom line. When things don't go your way, when something happens you didn't expect and you're not sure what to do, when life seems dark and scary, you can always have hope. You can remember that God always keeps his promises and he kept his promise to send Jesus as our Savior. Since he always keeps his promises, he'll also keep his promise that he's always with you and that he is always working for your good. That's why you can always have hope. Let's pray and ask God to help us. Dear God, thank you for reminding us during this time of year you keep your promises every single time. Thank you for the promise of Jesus. Thank you for the hope that we have in him. Please help us remember what you did for your people and for us when you sent Jesus to be our Savior. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.